Hi guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Uh, I just skipped back to the uh, the market from the last episode just to sell us some stuff. So we'll continue where we left off. We just finished the uh, Scary Pact. Well, we told the Legionnaires that we defeated the mini boss at the lighthouse, and now we need to go back to Captain Aureus. And see what he has to say about this. Uh, let's go this way for a change. Not that we've been this way so far. Ooh, let's talk to that chicken. Go, catch it. That it? Right, okay. Right. Seems to have somebody else. What's that? That's a rat. Greetings. One coin or two, noble spirit. One coin or two. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm a happy man and certainly a humble one. Now it turns out losing it all has its own share of benefits. How did you lose it all? <laughs> I was a fool once. At once was I. And ever seeking greater satisfaction than that which I already enjoyed. In my folly, I sought the counsel of those notorious watcher statues on the western cliffs. Their guidance ruined any small fortune I might have had, or certainly granted me hum humility. Tell me more about these watcher statues. I heard they were not to be trusted, that they gave fool's advice to the fools who sought them. But somehow I believed I, was, I were the exception. Should that be I was the exception? Yeah, it should be I was the exception. Continue. They told me that I would find fame and renown if I renounced my worldly possessions, all of my worldly possessions, and became a great figure of piety and humility. Journal update. Fire, the most thorough cleanser, was my method. Because as my house burned in front of me, I felt no elevation, no piety, only the sudden weight of my own idiocy upon my very soul. <laughs> Here, take ten gold pieces. <laughs> Here, have another one. <laughs> I'll take my leave. There we go. I don't think there's anything in there, is there? No. Uh, what have we got here? Alright. So those statues told me to renounce his earthly possessions to become a spiritual leader, did they? Absurd, since when is poverty a prerequisite to spirituality? Makes sense to me, how can we explore the spirit when you're busy keeping up with the Joneses? Uh, I think that's absurd. And Jules agrees, right, I'm not going to throw my things on a pyre in the hope that the stench of my burning trousers will please an ill-defined spirit. <laughs> Materialistic, that's what we are. Let's have a word with these. Talking head. You there, take a seat. Prepare to laugh your head off, cry your eyes out, and teeter on the edge of your seat with an original tale from Stefan, the talking severed head. Tell me about yourself. I am Reginald the Illusionist, purveyor of the most amazing artifact in Andervale. This fantastical talking head. Catch the act while you can. This show will only remain in Sicil as long as there are Legion soldiers to entertain. Here's ten. There you go. Here's another one. Get your attitude up. Hard <laughs> times, Lord Pinchpenny. <laughs> Just giving you ten, you cheeky sod. Alright, tell me about that talking head. That's right, a talking head, and he doesn't just talk, he'll weave you a yarn so fantastic. You'll be begging to hear just one more, and just one more. It's quite a story, how I found him too. Let's hear the story. I obtained this curio by some rather sensational means. You see, I was diving in search of a rare medicinal sea herb. I volunteer as a local children's apothecary, apothecary on weekends. In the shallows around Sicil's own black cove. When I spotted something amazing. The chest belonging to the fabled Captain Firebeard. 
the most prolific pirate of the old days, or of the days of old. I think that's the important bit, Black Cove. Though the chest was stuck fast, I summoned a swell of great strength, yeah right, and prized it free from the ancient rock. I had the treasure of a lifetime in my very hands, but then, slurp, glurp, I was swallowed by an ornery kraken that seemed to appear from nowhere. Some tall tales being told here, I think. In the hubbub, I lost hold of my prize and watched it sink to the bottom of the beast's cavernous belly. Still, I feared only the moment that was all futile. Before my mind's eye swam the faces of many war widows of leprotic orphans who would be lost without my charitable support, and I knew I had to live. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Grabbing fast at the hilt of a cutlass that floated by at, <laughs> at just that moment, I summoned all my strength to slash a great gash in the creature's gut, freeing myself from the would-be tomb. I swam as quick as I could, first to the surface and then to the shore. It was there along the rocky beach that I tripped over this talking head. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Wow, what a load of bull. Tell me about the talking head. Oh, what? That's the same thing. Let's change the subject. I'll take my leave. Fantastic. What are you looking at me for? There's a great show going on right in front of you. And look, there stands the world famous Reginald Entertainer. Better check it out if you don't want to miss the time of your life. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm nothing but your average man taking in the best show I've ever seen. I'm amazed and astounded at the meagre gold coin of two I can take in this first mate entertainment all day long. The same show all day, that seems like a bit much. Well, I've also went in, into quite the fine gig. I let my appreciation for Reggie's be known, and he slips me a few gold coins in return. My voice happens to carry pretty far. So I see who hears me, so I see who wants to see what the fuss is all about. Let me tell you, this amazing show you can't be beat. I'll take my leave. Bye. Alright. So I'm taking it that this guy over here, who's shouting at nothing, needs a crowd. You there, sit, stay a while, right in front. I'll excite you, I'll delight you, I'll beguile you, I'll besmile you. I'm Cedric, the sensational, and I'm... I'm playing to an empty audience. Tell me about yourself. Don't pity me, no sir, just a few years ago. I was the all-singing, all-dancing, all-sensational darling of the town. People came from far and wide just to witness my amazing act. When Reginald came, he brought me so he brought some fantastic prop with him. Have you seen it? It's a talking head. Never expected a silly gimmick like that to be my main competition. Tell me about the competition between you and Reginald. It seems even my unusually choosy audience will be taken in by Hack's little gizmo. A man of skill, sleight of hand, and feet of wit, and pure entertainment. This curio is ruining what used to be an art. And even when there's no crowd to speak of, oh, Reggie still has at least one fan calling, bravo, hee-haw. Sure as the sun sets, there's one devotee attracts five more, and those five more are all curious about the commotion. I don't know how he inspires your loyalty with less talent contained between his hat and his boots than I've got <laughs> in my crusty handkerchief. Haven't you heard? Reggie Dold uses a crowd warmer. Aye. The person whose sole job is to raise the performance and stir a crowd. A genius invention. No wonder Reginald has such, such, such success. I could put the wrong teeth in this morning. I knew this act couldn't have all outshone mine on its merit alone. Please, you must hire him for me. Imagine the scowl on that con man's face when my rightful audience returns to me. I must see events. I'll take my leave. Right, we've well, got an update for the uh, warm in the crowd. Here we go. So he wants us to get that right. And talking statues. Again, they're telling people to do things that they shouldn't do. Right, let's have a word with this crowd warmer. And since I know what might happen, I'm going to do this. Because we want the right outcome for this. If we get the wrong outcome, we can't finish the quest. What are you looking at me for? There's a great show on right in front of you. 
And look, there stands the world famous Reginald Entertainer. Better check it if you don't want to miss the time of your life. Uh, tell me about yourself again. Oh, dear, blah, 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 blah. Would you be interested in warming up the crowd for Cedric over there? Oh, I don't see why I should. Reginald and I have grown rather friendly. You know, and in case oh, it's hard to pull myself away from this fantastic show. Perhaps a hard shove in the proper direction will encourage you to move on. Intimidate. Uh, professional. Charm. Reginald has enough of a crowd. Why not give Cedric a reason? A chance. Uh, let's try to reason with him. Damn it! so far. Damn it! Damn it! Oh. And that's why I saved. <laughs> because that won't work at all. Load. And let's try that again. I do know as a fact, because I did it when I played through it the first time, that uh, if you do that wrong, then I have to kill nearly every legionnaire in the village to get all of that head, which you need for another quest. Right. Um, There we go. Intimidate him. Bye. And there he goes. Thank goodness for that. We'll save that there. See how they all follow him. Right, back over here. What? Where is everyone trotting off to? Don't they want to hear how the story ends? Doesn't anyone care about the oldest dragon knight of Rivalon and his machines of rainbow ribbon war? My friend returns! There's the journal update. Until we meet again. All right, so he's going to run back over here now. This is the finest show in the world. Right. Um. <laughs> Nobody's going to listen to him now. Let's try and talk to this head for a minute, if we can. When you're playing this game and you're, you're reading the answers to the questions and you're going through the, uh, the various quests and that time doesn't half fly. You don't seem to get much done in each of these episodes. But onwards. Let's just speak to Aureus. Alright. Then 
Two dozen skeletons crawled out of the ground encircling us. Well, but a trifle for us in each net, but... We fought like lions, saying three, four undead with every blow. I said, impressed. <laughs> Oh, oh. Well, look what the cat dragged in. My brave troops were just telling me how they proudly vanquished the undead near the lighthouse. Did you get to witness my valiant soldiers in action? So here's a choice. Do I let them uh, take the credit and go home, which would be a generous thing to do? Or do I tell the truth and just really screw with them? I'm going to be nice. You bet. You learn quite a lesson watching Legion action. Now, as for my two braves here, they shall prepare to leave Sysiel post haste. You're going home, Legionnaires, as is your just reward. Thank you, Captain. All our day's work. Until we meet again. That's it. No, thank you. Kiss me ass, no nothing. My friend Richards. Uh... Alright, okay, well that's the it's end of that one, I think. Head. Yes, it's gone. Right, so let's uh, go to the north gate. Save. And well, we should head out of town again, I think. Where's the... Where's the exit? See it. Alright, let's head out of town and see if we can find a, a scuffle before we have to end the episode. At least try and get one fight in. Where have we been to? We've been to there. So we'll head up here. There's the well. You can't take too many risks on this game because the, if you're in an area where you shouldn't be, believe me, the, the game will let you know. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we might come into a fight here around here somewhere. Let's have a look. Yes, there we go. Uh, spider. Two, so three on the ridge, one there, and three coming from the left. Right. Uh, you're done. We shall move you slightly that way. Can she hit? No. Oh, Bray can come over here. Can't reach. You can move backwards a little way. There we go. And attack. Go, Spidey, go. Or maybe move back, Spidey, move back. <laughs> what have we got here? Alright, oh, okay. Ouch. I should 
hurt both of them. Yes, it did. Uh, ricochet. Nice. Well, that gets those two in. Don't need to heal yet. Can't attack. So we'll wait to turn. Can I reach? You're not doing very well there, Spidey. You're letting me down. Okay, he's wasted a little bit of his action points. That's good. Uh, looks like Spidey's going to be dead soon. Yes, there we go. How's he going? Come back. Bye-bye. Can't hit that one. Kaboom. Right, you need to come over here. Archers on the hill getting a, a line of sight to anybody. You could do a little heal. There we go. Ah, that's the way. Come on down, boys. Good these skellies, the graphic got them. Yeah, very good. Right, zoom out again, sorry about that. Just wanted to have a look at them. Trickery. There we go. Stunned. Ideal. Here come the rest. What level are these? Level four. Ideal. Uh, right, you can say bye bye. Splat. Right, let's get ourselves in position now. Need to do a weapon as well. No, oh, we can reach from there. Damn it. to give them something to occupy their attention then. While I get up there... <coughs> excuse me. Can I reach? Oh yeah. 49%. 
percent chance. Ouch. Miss. That's no big surprise. takes retention away. Oh, what? Well, they've gone to daggers. I don't think I've seen that before. Can I reach? Well, I'll give all grey a bit of extra power. I like this. Damage plus 50%. Excellent. Well, I can't reach. Nice. I miss. Okay. I want to say his weapon should be excellent against E because it's a blunt weapon, which is obviously good against bones. Right. Let's shot you. Finishing goes to you, Aubrey. Oh. Really? <laughs> Don't be kidding me. What that? Right, let's just see what uh, they have for us. Well, first of all, let's take a little heal on Aubrey. Try and keep his health topped up. Right, what we got? Minor heel scroll. Long bow. Malediction skill book. Skill book. Alright. Uh, send that to uh, the ranger. Oh, that's not good for him. Jules. Treat poisoning, we'll send that to Jules as well. And Jahan. And that will be no good for anybody. Malediction. Curse an enemy. Might as well learn it. And there we have it for today, folks. Another episode of Divinity Original Sin. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you do like the videos, please leave me a like and subscribe. It's always very nice to see it. And please, come back next time. This is All Grey, signing off.